Practical SQL Server 2012 Administration and Programming Select Statement Date Conversion to String and vice versa These are the Century date formats and these are Vival Century although not exactly true for all cases because zero has a century in it, for example. And uh, we see in the commented pattern what they produce. It is important to note that some of these formats are not US formats. Nevertheless, uh, they are readable. The biggest problem is uh, this is the US MDY format and this is the UK DMY format. This is used in other European countries too or in other countries across the world. Now this part is really really confusing. If we don't use format number it's going to assume US format and if we supply UK dates we are going to get errors. So it's very important that we use the style number for uh, conversions because uh, that way it clearly indicates what is the expected format of the uh, input uh, so it can produce a date time output. Why do we have so many date formats? Well. It suffices to see that these are string formats. There is only one but one internal format. So we are talking about string formats of all different kinds. And why do we use it? Because it's used in everyday life, so we cannot escape from it. It's coming in feeds, in all different kind of, uh, of input to a database. So the best we can do is uh, to deal with it as much of a structured way as we can. Now what if we get a feed which uh, is not listed here, so the date time is in a format or the date is in a format which is not on this list, what do we do? Well, we have to convert it. If uh, we do conversion to one of these formats and with a style number, we can convert it. This is Arabic date, it takes Anvarchar, Anvarchar instead of Varchar. So for example, if we run this, let's see what we get. Execute, and uh, here it is. 1433, that corresponds to 2012. In uh, the Christian calendar. These are the non-century conversions with some exceptions like this. And if we don't see on the list what we need, we can use string functions uh, to achieve any kind of uh, conversion. Let's run with scripts. So here is one style, a second style, a third style, and a fourth style. Now, in addition to all the convert function with the style numbers, now we have the format function which is uh, borrowed from uh, .NET application languages such as C Sharp or Visual Basic. First we check no culture universal format so there is no culture parameter given and uh, if we run this script we get the following results.
We declare a local variable for this script and assign it current timestamp. So local variable data type is date time. And when we are going to use the format function with uh, the format pattern and also with culture parameter and uh, we can see the results commented out on the right hand side. Now for uh, a complete list for all cultures visit the following link It's a large list actually. So why is it important to know what we get when we convert to text with all different style parameters? Because when we have to convert it back, when we have to convert it back to date time, we have to know the, the style parameter. Sometimes it works without the style parameter, but we shouldn't take chances. We shouldn't take chances with yields the same with the style parameter and without it. We should not take chances because we can be up to a big surprise. For example, if we convert select convert date time and let's make this 12 21 2012 without style parameter it's going to convert okay well hopefully okay because what happens if uh, we want a UK conversion then we are going to get an error 21 12 so we got an error when we don't use the style parameter. So we have to use the UK style parameter. Let's comment it out so the script can run without an error. So we have to go back and we have to see what we can use. It's 103 is the style parameter. And if we use 103 it's going to convert OK. Generally it's it is a good idea to use the style parameter because it's documenting as well as uh, what we are expecting in format. And now it works correctly. This is the DMY format. Save. So there are tens or hundreds or thousands of date formats, but those are string formats. That's the most important aspect to understand, string formats. In fact, we can invent our own string format. But there is only one and one internal date time format, and this is it. So when we are converting to date time format, we go to the internal format and convert it to different, star, different string dates. So when we take this number, we have to break it to two parts. This part, 4 bytes, so corresponds to an integer, is a day of set since 1900-0101. And... Uh, the second four bytes of CPU ticks count since midnight. So together the two, this is the day part and this is the time part, we can figure out what is the date time. 
I mean, was SQL Server Engine does better. Now, if we convert the hex number to decimal integer, so 41,064 days since 1900. Let's check if that's correct. And we execute the date add function from 1900.01.01, and indeed we get 2012.06.06. If we look at date, which is new to SQL Server 2008, it's three bytes. So if we execute the conversion to binary, we get this value. However, to get the actual days, since uh, since uh, year 10101, the birth of Jesus Christ, we have to reverse the bytes. And then we can convert it to integer, so we get this many days. And uh, in fact, if we add with a date add function, we are going to get back the current date. So basically, date type is a 3-byte integer counter, except the bytes are in the reverse order than normally we do in hex numbers, so for conversions we have to reverse the byte order. Recapping, date format representation is very important topic and it's very important in the life of database developer, database administrator, maybe even database designer, because from day to date we have to struggle with different string date formats. There is only one but one internal representation, that's a binary representation of date time, but externally there are hundreds, even thousands, different representations in different cultures. And we may get a feed with entirely new kind of uh, date representation. Frankly, we can make up our own string date representation as long as we have a year the month and the day, we can uh, translate it to the internal date-time format. This is the end of the unit.